Hi, I'm Rebecca Tatilo with the Roma Hut Institute, and today I want to talk about the best way to smell your essential oils when you're first starting out. Now, just picking up that bottle and smelling directly from the bottle usually is what we tend to do, but this is really not going to give us a true representation of the essential oil and the fragrance that way. The best way to smell your essential oils is to use the perfume strips or the blotters, and this is what professional perfumers use. Now, when you smell it directly out of that bottle, and, and I, I still do, tend to do that, we're really only going to be smelling those top notes coming off it that evaporate very quickly. That's that head space. Um, it will be later that you'll begin to smell those middle and base notes, and that's one of the reasons why the best way to get that is to use it on a perfume strip like these. And if you have a supply kit, you got some of these in that. Now we want to use the wider part, this is called the paddle. This is where you're going to be touching and handling it. And you'll want to write the name of the fragrance right here, the essential oil. Um, you'll be using this smaller tip to actually dip into the bottle. And so sometimes they will come with measured marks and that'll give you the idea of where you need to dip the oil, but if they don't, then you're just simply going to bend it about an inch or so down. And then you're going to actually just dip that right into your essential oil, and you'll have that tip up so that if you place it on the table or on your um, workspace, then this area will not be touching the table and get sticky. Now, as it dries down, you're going to notice the oil run running down, and this will be part of the dry down period. And you'll be able to just take that blotter, and just about an inch away from your nose, you'll smell it, and then you'll move it away. Because we want to allow that fragrance to go into your brain and process. Your brain is going to be collecting information on that fragrance, because you may have smelled it before. You might have some memories tied to it and other information. And then we take it again smell again and again now the brain is collecting other information new information about this because each oil is made up of 200 to 800 constituents or molecules so there's a lot of components that are in that one essential oil now at first you smell those top notes and then you're going to smell the middle note about about a minute or so later and then later you will smell it again and smell that base note. And so you'll be using these throughout your course uh, for blending your fragrances and what you want to come up with with your custom blend. So you're going to need to use these throughout the course. Um, after some time though the, the oil will evaporate so you're going to need to make some fresh strips as you go. Typically uh, a top note essential oil will last about two to three days and then about a week for your middle notes and your heart notes and then sometimes a base note like frankincense myrrh, uh, onika, these are going to last longer up to about 30 days. So you'll have a chance to get to enjoy those longer. So that's how easy it is to use your blotters when making your blends. Thanks for watching.